All right, what's up guys? I am back. I was embarrassed with the last commentary simply because, well, it was not a game. You just listened to me talk for 15 minutes last commentary and that was that. So, we're going to we're going to redeem this. I've got a series here for you. This is going to be uh, a series between King Kong and Puma. And how can you go wrong with King Kong? This is actually ST's King Kong here as the pink Zerg player here in the right position and in the far left we have Puma as the blue Terran player so this will be a good game still yet to pre-screen it but I know Puma is fantastic King Kong I've heard great things about so let's get ready to rumble I don't know that that was a really bad attempt actually so yes we've got Puma versus King Kong here we go Puma will be starting off with that wall off uh, yesterday I casted some games with Puma as well and uh, they turned out to be quite well so I don't know if he will be the victor of this series this is actually going to be um, another best of three series um, that was uh, I casted a couple of best of threes yesterday uh, obviously today there was a few team games uh, that embarrassing commentary commentary that I did last between hey pro and uh, and uh, I can't remember his name. That was sad, guys. I, I, again, apologize. But let's look forward to this matchup. Let's put that all behind us. You know, I'm sure you all forgive me. Uh, kind of out of my hands. But here we go right now. Let's take a look. See what Puma decides to do. Looks like there is that refinery timing. We'll keep an eye. Let's try to see when and if he gets that second. Well, he'll, he'll get it eventually. But when he gets that second refinery... Very quick expansion, actually 14 hatch here from King Kong. So King Kong opting for that incredibly quick hatchery uh, that can be risky on such a small map. One of my favorite, one of my new favorite maps because there's sharks here. So yeah, I mean, I, I don't, they're not underwater. They can't be underwater, right? That doesn't make sense. All of a sudden, like Zerglings and Marines aren't fine underwater. Um, so that must just mean that's a flying shark. So that is awesome, right? Uh, we do have the scout right now moving across to Puma's base and that will get temporarily delayed there by that SCV. He could, of course, just pass through by right-clicking on the mineral patch, but uh, decided to try to wait and circumvent there and then walking through. But now, unfortunately, he is trapped right inside Puma just right now with the one gas. Stealing a little bit of resources, and although he won't leave the base, now uh, now Puma is five less resources uh, available in the late game. So there you go. This, it's small little things. It's about those small little things here in StarCraft. It's really what can make the difference. Right now, Puma moving into the main base here of King Kong. Will he himself try to steal some resources? It's a possibility. A spawning pool 50% of the way finished right now. He clearly has spotted that expansion. Coming out with that quick, quick tech lab. So what does this mean? Reaper expand. Pretty much what that typically implies so here comes the reaper probably not going to see him get that second refinery and just save up those extra minerals to drop that quick expansion the reaper used for uh, a little bit of map control at least until you know until those speed links come in also great method of scouting and this is a very sneaky hidden scv and he does not know about it yes king kong is not aware about that the extractor has finished the marine of course will eventually whittle its way through that we've got two scvs uh, they're just kind of moving around and double rack. So no wow look at that not going into that standard expansion instead dropping a double racks And this means he will be being a little bit more aggressive. We've got a marine follow-up right here Also the stim pack so we will be seeing probably a stim timing push and another racks Puma very heavy racks early on he will be pushing very very hard and how will King Kong be prepared for King Kong finding that SCV scout managing to drop it let's take a look there resources lost um, pretty insignificant at this point in the game but every little bit helps we've got another Reaper coming on through here as well so where's that first Reaper there it is uh, control with the center of the map he has killed off one unit right now I do believe that that was a drone but we are going to see a very, very strong stim timing push here from Puma. And let's see how effective that ends up being. Trying to make sure, of course, he doesn't get supply block down to just the one SCV mining over there. Uh, map control is the name of the game right now with this Reaper grabbing that tower. He wants to make sure there's no Zerglings, any sort of Zergling or Drone Scout early on because he does not want King Kong to know that this push is coming. We are massing up Marines. That stim pack is almost finished. I, I do wonder if he will go all in with this. And why, what I mean by that is if he pulls a significant amount of SCVs it's pretty much a guaranteed all-in at this point now here comes that Zergling Scout and this is exactly what this Reaper is here to deny now he does have the metal all boost but these two shots see a later Zergling that does get taken care of uh, we do have that one Reaper in the main now sitting with those two kills he was looking primarily besides to see how many Zerglings there were he did also want to try to see if he could spot some of those production buildings see if there's a Roach Warren or anything like that in play but unfortunately he wasn't able to get up there a nice placement there of Speedling expecting those Reapers to come in after spotting it 
killing off that first Zergling scout that was sent out. So here he comes. Yes, Puma will be going all in, uh, moving down with a sizable amount of SCVs, almost two rows worth over here. A ton of Marines and those Reapers as well. Now he's got an opportunity, a lot of damage, and Kate Kong has scouted it right now. The Zergling scout spotting that. How is his preparation going to look? Whoa, Fast Spire. Fast Spire does not do good against the Stim Marine timing push. This is a little scary. Here we go. Watch this drop. Very quickly, the Stim Pack will be saved until a large engagement comes. Once we see an attempted surround here by King Kong with his Speedlings and Drones, that's when I do expect that Stim Pack. No reason to get it anytime prior to that. I uh, can just micro those Marines around. There is the Stim Pack right now as the attempt is drowned. SCV is trying to create a buffer as well. The strong DPS with that Stim Pack shredding through things. One Queen down. All of those workers down. And the second Queen gets taken out as well so right now Puma will kill off King Kong's hatchery he does not stand a chance we've got 18 Zerglings though and King Kong realizing that that is it and calling the GG King Kong opened up this game with hatchery first and then moving into extractor and pool now Puma opened up with Reaper play which is pretty standard but then he mixed it up by going with a quick stim pack and getting some additional racks for a stim timing push early on. Now typically when seeing an open Reaper you do expect a Reaper to expand but uh, Puma being the excellent player that he is mixed it up a bit. Puma used his first two Reapers for map control obviously the entire goal of that is to deny any further scouting of King Kong. Stimpak finished and Puma pushed out. He still had his two Reapers. Now we're going to see the Marines actually hold off on using that stim until the surround. Again, just kind of relying on regular micro up until that point. Um, unfortunately, you know, King Kong with going for that quick expansion and a very fast spire, he was not at all prepared for an all in, uh, much as like Puma did, and that is what forced him to call the GG. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. This was game number one in this best of three series between King Kong and Puma. We'll be moving on to game number two in just one moment. As always, guys, if you like the content, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching. Keep watching and keep owning.